Good morning, Rio Grande third graders. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get started on our lesson for today. We're going to continue talking about multiples as products. So let's continue our conversation on what are multiples. So multiples are a skip counting of pattern of a specific amount. For example, if I were going to skip count or look at my multiples of three, it would go 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, and we can continue on and on. So what this tells us is that our multiples are our products of our multiplication facts for three. So if I were to look at a number line, I have one leap of three would be three, two groups of three would be six, another group of three would be nine, another group would be 12, and it would continue on and on. So if we look at our multiplication fact here, we know our first factor tells us how many groups or skips on a number line we have. Our second factor tells us how many objects are in each group or how many are there in each skip. So for example, on our number line, we have a group of three. We're adding three each time. Another group of three would give us six. Another group of three would give us nine. Another group of three would be 12. We're at five groups of three, which would give us 15. Six groups of three would be 18. Seven groups of three would be 21. And finally, eight groups of three or eight skips on the number line would give us 24. So when we look at 24, we have 24 right here, and that would be our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth leap. So 24 is our product, and we consider that our total. And once we get to that final count, that's going to be our multiple of three, which is 24. So let's take a look at our multiples of two, five, and 10. So multiples of two, as you notice on the number line down below, are the multiple are the groups of two that we have when we're skip counting. So we have zero, if we have zero groups of two, one group of two is two, two groups of two is four, three groups of two is six, four groups of two is eight, five groups of two is 10, and so on. So we could continue on with counting by twos to figure out what our product is in our facts. So one group of two equals two, Two groups of two is four. Three groups of two is six. And you'll notice on the number line, we're at the six on the number line down below. Four groups of two is eight. So we would be at the eight on the number line down below. Five groups of two is 10. Looking at our number line. Six groups of two would be 12. And we would continue. Seven groups of two would be 14. And if we had our number line stretched, eight groups of two would be 16, and we would continue counting by twos continuously on and on. So those are our multiples of two, or products of two. So now let's take a look at our multiples of five. Here are our multiples of five, and of course they can continue on and on. If we had zero groups of five, that would be zero. But if we have one group of five, we skip up one more leap, and that would be five on the number line. So if you look down below at the number line, we have one group of five is five. Two groups of five on the number line would be 10. Three groups of five would be 15. 
Four groups of five would be 20. Still five more on the number line. If we add another group of five, that would give us 25 on our number line. Six groups of five would be 30. Seven groups of five would be 35. And eight groups of five would be 40. And of course, we could continue on with adding five more for another group of five, and that would be considered a multiple of five. If we look at our multiples of 10, we have zero is our beginning, so we have no groups of 10. But if we take and add a group of 10, that would be one group of 10, and that would be 10 on our number line down below. If we have two groups of 10, that makes 20, so we're adding another 10. If we had three groups of 10, that would be 30. Four groups of 10 would be 40. On our number line, you can see we added another group of 10. If we add another group of 10, five groups of 10 would be 50. And six groups of 10 would be 60. And if I add another group of 10, so, if you think about strategies to find the product of a multiplication equation, these are the different strategies that we've come up with up to this point, or learned up to this point. We've talked about repeated addition. We've talked about showing multiplication as equal groups and counting the number of objects in those groups. We've also shown a multiplication fact as an array in rows and when we count all the objects in those rows we get the product and now we have one more other strategy is by skip counting by multiples of that specific amount in this case we're doing twos fives and tens at this point we know that zero is going to be zero and one anytime you have a group of one you're going to have that number that you're multiplying by one. So our assignment today is going to be in your soft cover practice book. We are going to review on reteach practice page 5-1. We're going to talk about the factors of two and five, and you can always use your multiples of two and five to get your products. We're also going to look at reteach practice 5-3, which is multiplying by zero and one as your factors. And we're also going to take a look at reteach and practice page 5-5, which is using 10 as a factor of multiple and use your multiples as well. So remember, uh, you will be doing front and back of these pages. And we are also, if you have not taken your notes, you will also have your notes from your notebook to also help you using your multiples of two, five, and 10. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email in Schoology. Have a great day. Rio Grande, third graders.